Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're talking about the best drugstore priced concealers for combination skin. I say drugstore priced because there's one concealer here that I had to get off Amazon, but it is still very affordable, so it is within that drugstore price range. All of these, for reference, are going to be under $15 and are going to be great for combination oily dry skin. I have two concealers that work really well for me under my eyes as under eye concealer and then I have two that are amazing for spot concealing. So before we jump into those products don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want to see any more don't forget to subscribe at the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So we're going to start with the concealers for under eyes. So my two favorites are right here. You can get both of these at Ulta. My first favorite is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This has an amazing shade range. It is $7. People compare this to the Shape Tape. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Shape Tape. I have it like for under my eyes. I'm not a huge fan of it. I have it and I don't reach for it. I really reach for this one. I have shades C5 and C6. You can spot conceal with this, but I do like it better under my eyes. I use shade C5 for spot concealing. Shade C6 is the one I have right here. I use that for under my eyes. It has a large doe foot like the Shape Tape. The only thing I don't like about this is that you can't really pull the stopper out because I do want to like scrape the inside to get the rest of this out. You can't really pull the stopper out of here. So that is the only thing, but I love the formula. It lasts throughout the day. It doesn't age me. It doesn't create more fine lines than I actually have. And it works with a variety of finishing powders and setting powders. My next favorite for under my eyes is actually one that was in my makeup makeup is actually one that was in my makeup backup drawer video. I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to check that out. But this is the Ulta the Ulta brand concealer. It's called the Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and it really is full coverage. It also states that it's waterproof. I I wouldn't go that far, but it is a good full coverage concealer. I have the shade Light Warm. The shade range on this one is not that great. I'm really hoping that they will extend this but it's so affordable as well. It's part of the Ulta House brand, so what they always do, like buy two, get two free, buy one, get two free, and it's always on sale, so never buy this full price. Just never buy a full price. Even then, oh, did I even say how much this was? The Makeup Revolution, this one was like $7, and then this one is typically around $3. Excellent for under your eyes. I'm not gonna open this one because it's my backup, so it's still sealed, but you can pull the stopper out of this one and really scrape out all the concealer absolutely adore this one would really recommend it if you could find your shade the next concealer it's technically a foundation but really for the majority of us this is just a full coverage spot concealer this is the one i had to get on amazon this is the dermacol makeup cover the best shade for me is shade 210 i've had this for quite some time and i've only gone through about this much of the tube this is really potent at first i didn't like it because i was trying to use it as a foundation but really i don't like I don't need that much coverage but when I had a really bad breakout on my nose that just would not go away for weeks this covered it up when I have really bad breakouts on my chin this covers it up I got this on Amazon for right around $12 I know the prices on there can fluctuate but what I would do is just find whatever shade would work best for you that's something that also took me some time if you're around my um, complexion I would say go for 210 but I did have to order two of them just to find what shade would work better for me but I find that this works best when you apply it with a beauty blender because it's so full cover just do a little drop blend it in with your beauty blender or other sponge so the beauty blender is blah blend it in with your sponge and then set it with a finely milled powder i like to do this before i put on my foundation if you want to see my full coverage foundation routine where i use this i'll also throw that up in the cards it's from a few months ago but it's still the best way i've found to apply this full coverage concealer the last concealer is actually one that was part of one of my last project pan projects so i no longer have it with me but it's the maybelline instant age rewind concealer i caught this at cvs for about eight dollars and it's the best drugstore like actually in the drugstore concealer for spot concealing i didn't really like it under my eyes but for just right around my chin for around my nose for on my forehead i have a breakout right here on my forehead it would cover that up really well 
it's really great again the shade range is not fantastic that's the downside to a lot of these drugstore foundations and to these drugstore concealers is that the shade range is not great except for makeup revolution they did it they did and it's a great concealer too which is amazing but anyway back to the maybelline it's a really great option i do like the packaging on this the sponge is a little unsanitary but i like that the way that they have the packaging so you can twist it up really ensures that you get all the product out so you can definitely like pull the sponge off and just twist the concealer up and out but i used the sponge i just made sure to like disinfect it with a little bit of alcohol after every time i used it so those are all of my favorite drugstore concealers after so much testing and trial and error for the longest time, I could not find any drugstore concealers that would work, and I really wanted an affordable concealer option, and I really hope one of these works for you. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these and what you like about them if you have, or if you're going to try any of them now that I've mentioned them. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!